Tonight, a social worker says at one Bay Area VA facility, crucial care for some cancer patients has been delayed. She says when she documented the delays for her superiors, she was punished. Reporter Christina Mendonza has the story of one veteran advocate who says she had to fight her own battle just to keep her job. When her own son joined the Navy, Karen Schwick decided she wanted to serve the country as well. I sold my house, closed my business, sold everything I owned, moved to California. Schwick went from advocating for the mentally ill in Miami to social work for veterans in Palo Alto. And I feel that our veterans have have um, sacrificed and, and deserve the care. As a social worker at the Palo Alto VA Hospital, Karen helps patients with cancer. She helps these veterans navigate a very complex system called Veterans Choice. It's supposed to provide community-based care when veterans can't receive proper treatments through the VA. Palo Alto VA does not offer radiation treatment. So 100% of, of veterans that need radiation are referred to the community. Karen says since August, some of her veterans choice referrals for radiation are being repeatedly denied or delayed. Could you please process this? Is there a delay? And then that doesn't get answered. Nothing worked. I mean, it, you're, you know, days go by and, and and the referrals aren't processed. Meanwhile, veterans wait for radiation and express frustration to Karen, who says many of them are getting sicker. She says these are vets who are often too ill for other types of treatment or need radiation before receiving surgery or chemotherapy. Karen says in response to her aggressive advocacy, she received emails from her superiors banning her from patient meetings and ordering her to a disciplinary hearing. Now she's being put in a position where she has to defend her job. She has to defend her integrity, all because she's trying to advocate for veterans and better patient care. Karen hired whistleblower attorney Natalie Quam to represent her at the disciplinary hearing. That's part of the system. She retained our firm. And when they saw that she was retaining our firm, they didn't give her the hearing. They just went behind the back doors and gave her the, basically a lower rating, a score for her performance. After that performance review, Karen and her attorney filed a whistleblower complaint with the Office of Special Counsel, alleging mismanagement and violation of law, and providing emails showing Karen's attempts to get veterans their radiation referrals. A spokesman for the VA told me he's not at liberty to discuss any personnel issues, but provided me with numbers he says show the Palo Alto VA is within current guidelines that allow the VA 30 days to get veterans referrals for community care. According to that data, for the last four months of 2017, September referrals took on average nine days. In October, the average was 22 days. In November, the average was 25 and a half days. In December, the average was 17 days. The spokesman went on to say, VA Palo Alto is always working hard to improve systems that may be having issues, and in no way do we feel we are perfect. However, the data provided shows the process is working properly as we strive to continue providing veterans the care they need in a timely manner. After my conversation with the VA, Karen got a memo saying the disciplinary issues were considered resolved and she was allowed back into the patient meetings. However, she says she has never been able to address those discipline issues and is still working with patients beyond five weeks and waiting for radiation. The harm is, that's happening here is happening to our veterans and delays are still happening in spite of all of this. But I'm going to but of course I will continue on and 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 to advocate and to hear to the core values of the United States Department of Veterans Affairs because it actually has a meaning to me. It's not just something that I wear on my name badge. In Palo Alto, I'm Christina Mendonca for ABC 7 News.